September 4th, 2022. And today is the inaugural use of the brand new solo stove Bonfire 2.0. I had been contemplating buying one of these for about a month or two. And uh, solo stove for Labor Day had a great sale, 40% off. I was also able to use a $10 coupon and a 20 dollar off heroes reward coupon so I pulled the trigger and this is what we got now the reason that I purchased the solo stove is because they allege and we're gonna see that it is safe for wood decks without causing any damage I'd watched quite a few bonfire uh, videos with the solo stove and they articulate that it is not the easiest to get started but once it does it's rolling I will tell you that I had no problem at all to get this thing started. Uh, probably uh, six pieces of crumpled paper, a bunch of kindling, and actually some slices of uh, solo stove cardboard box. And uh, in no time at all, I was able to add larger logs. And we've got a pretty steady fire here. Now what I will tell you is without the screen, I am getting ashes. They are, uh, they are floating up. Hopefully not onto the roof. And we are getting some spitting onto the deck. As you can see, the solo stove, not exactly the largest. I think in retrospect, I would have gone with the Yukon. But what I have found in just 10 minutes of this fire going is that it does burn through wood quick. I've already had five eh, moderately sized pieces of cottonwood pretty much uh, incinerate themselves got a good steady burn I can already see the flames going through the holes creating the secondary burn I think delivered I ended up having this secured at about about $255 so we're gonna see we're gonna burn this it's about 63 degrees here in Michigan on Labor Day weekend Sunday and then I'm going to come back and let you know what happened to the deck and how bad that is, if at all. So, so far, I would say for your average residential burn pit, all the factors considered that it creates a conical uh, heat, and a conical fire, um, I think it's pretty good. I will tell you a lot of the reviews that I have have seen suggested that you are not going to feel heat in too many areas other than directly up. I am three and a half feet away and it's scorching. I can tell you that as this is burning now, it's going to be more than adequate for our needs. As this wood burns down, I'll let you know as I add it as to whether... Uh, I think the size is appropriate. Now we have, a, I believe it is a 16 by 22 foot deck. We have some chairs around us. Today, like I said, is just the uh, initial burn. Nobody is here, my wife and I, and I think it's going to be perfect for us. As you can see, there's already a bit of bronzing going on on the lid, or I should call it the uh, I don't know what they call it, the top ring that keeps everything projected inwards. But it is unbelievably hot from a distance, so it's more than enough, much better than I expected. As you can see, in contrast to your average patio chair, pretty consistent with the same size. Currently uh, kindling, five logs, and it's going, it's going good. Thanks for watching. I'll give you a, a further honest update of the solo stove and any potential damage to the wood decking. Again, the reason I'm doing this today is because, frankly, my deck is not in spectacular shape and it needs to be resurfaced anyway, so I have nothing to lose. So far, it's a win. Have a great Labor Day. Take care.